Hey, all you cold cats and kittens. I know many of us are thinking we will never financially recover from this. But before you grab the sardine oil, let me share a few golden nuggets that could help you out. You are the king of your personal finances. And you know what's great about being a king? You get to make all the rules. And now more than ever is the time to make good financial decisions. If you have an emergency savings, use it not to run for governor, but to keep yourself from using the Walmart food program to make homemade pizza. Stay current on your bills. Don't let your credit card debt accumulate. Credit card debt unchecked can become a 20 year old mystery that never gets resolved. The government stimulus package is like a billionaire couple coming in from Las Vegas at the last minute to save your zoo. But use that stimulus check you receive wisely. Pay your rent, pay your mortgage, and your basic bills. This is not the time to buy a jet ski. Getting behind on bills now will only make this snowball into bigger issues for you in the future. Now, I could write a country love song about the CARES Act. What you need to know is that the federal government has lined up an army of volunteers in colored t-shirts to help you through this. Student loan payments to federal loans don't have to be made until October. If you were laid off and had a loan in your retirement plan through work, those payments can be delayed 12 months. They say you can't get anything done with a monkey on your back, let's put the monkey on your front. If you are eligible for unemployment, go ahead and file. If at all possible, you don't wanna stick your arm into that retirement plan cage. If you have to, the CARES Act has made it easier to access and potentially reduce penalties. But tapping into your long-term savings will bite back. And missing out on future growth is like being dragged around the dirt floor of a zoo. I know financially, we all feel like we're in a cage. And you know what happens to our society when you put us in a cage? Our soul dies. But before you find yourself taking $3,000 and driving towards Florida, let's think this through. Maybe the coronavirus is an angel. She may have been sent straight from hell, but she's teaching us a lot about what is truly valuable in life. Take a step back and watch your family. Are they happy? Are they healthy? Then you may not be as broke as you thought you were.